back to Gapy's garden. I haven't showed you this part of the garden in my last update, so I thought I would go over the strawberries I have here under the fruit trees. So this is actually a Braeburn tree, and it's got lots of apples. Um, but underneath it, I've got some strawberries, and these are a Shuksan variety. These were my favorite variety last year. They got nice big strawberries, and it was pretty productive. This is a June-bearing variety, I believe. So we've got lots of lots of ripe ones here, and the birds have been helping themselves to some of these. Um, but I have a this wire fencing around it, and it it's more to keep the chickens out than it is for the birds. The birds can actually, well, at least some of them can fit through here. The robins, I don't think, can fit through there. So I think the robins only get to the ones that are sticking out of the cage. Um, but it does seem to help a little bit with the, the birds. And then this one here is another apple tree. I'm not sure what the variety is, but it's not nearly as productive as the other one. And this is a new variety um, for me this year and these are called Puget Crimson and the berries on this one are just huge. This is a, a later variety, I think it's called a summer bearing variety. So it does get um, really big strawberries. You can see in here, see how huge that is. But I planted these last year, I think late summer. And all the strawberries I have here came from fellow gardeners um, locally that were just thinning out their... Oh, looks like we got a bunch of ants. I think this is one I harvested yesterday and I didn't get the top off. There's all kinds of ants crawling around on that. Um, but it's looking like it's going to get a lot more. I also have, as you can see here, some bindweed that keeps crawling up in here that it's really hard to get rid of. And then the next tree, this was a pear tree, but we got, we're going to get rid of it because it just was not productive at all. I think we had a couple pears on it when we first moved in and not really anything since then. So I had some hood strawberries, at least I think they were hood strawberries underneath this one. And I took the cage down so the chickens pretty much scratched those all up. Um, but there is a couple left and I think that might be a volunteer tomatillo there. Um, but yeah, eventually we're going to try and get this tree out so we can put another tree in its place. And then finally over here is one last one. And I let's see, this is sea, Seascape. And it's a smaller, a little bit smaller. Well, actually there's some big ones in there too. There's a few different sizes here. Oh, there's a nice, nice collection here. And those just ripened up pretty much overnight. Those were green, I think, yesterday or the day before. Um, but this is an ever-bearing variety, I believe. I think I planted this one in the spring last year. So it's um, just getting going. And it, but I think I did harvest some last year. And this is under a plum tree. And this is a Brooks plum. It hasn't been very productive the last few years, so I'm not sure what's going on with that one. Um, and then lastly over here, I believe these are the, also the hood strawberries, but these were all planted in the asparagus bed before it had asparagus in it. And we moved them under um, the tree there, but some of them have escaped. And I just let them grow out here in the path. Um, mostly the birds get it, or I just pick some and feed them to the chickens. They really enjoy the strawberries, but that's pretty much going all up along this bed. Um, all back here. I'm surprised the chickens didn't scratch these all up, but they must have some pretty good roots down there. And then I do have one more patch in the front yard, so let me go take you over there. Here is the front yard strawberries. So these were actually planted a few years ago by, I think, the birds. 
So I don't actually harvest too many of these because the birds usually get to these ones since they're not really protected. So I have no idea what variety these are, but they get very little watering. I don't really water these at all, but they seem to grow pretty well. They've actually spread out quite a bit. So we've got some over here, and then they've also spread over here and back there. And then this is about as far as they've gotten here. Um, but yeah, they've made it for the last several years and seem to produce fairly well. I think they're a June-bearing variety because they don't seem to um, produce all summer long. But the birds enjoy them, and I also pick some for the chickens too. But I did get to try a couple of the first ones before the birds got to them. These ones look like they might be a little overripe because they're super dark. So I'll probably give those to the chickens. They'll enjoy it. I'll give them some of these too. These have some chunks taken out by the birds. Alright, let's go feed the chickens. We want strawberries. They don't last long. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Say bye Penny. Bye Luna.